Hello and welcome. Today we're going to have a brief overview of a MITEL application called Unified Communicator Advanced or UCA for short. This de desktop application integrates your MITEL extension, your cell phone, Outlook calendar and contacts together underneath one client entitled UCA. Also available is instant messaging, video calls, and a licensed access to the MITEL audio web collaboration. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm running UCA on my desktop and I am currently logged in. And what we're going to do today is we're going to break this down. We're going to have a conversation about the top third. We're going to come down, we're going to talk about our contacts, our corporate contacts, our personal contacts, and any favorites that we may have. And then lastly, we'll transition into these icons or applications available to you over here. So let's get started. Let's come to the very top. What stands out is this in the office status message. These are changeable and customizable by you. This is an entitled dynamic status. As you can see, Russ's uh, dynamic status, he's currently in a meeting. I'm in the office. Uh, Sherry's gone for the day. Any of your other clients that are running this, you can take a quick peek, see what they're doing. Uh, Nancy's working from home, and she's actually on the phone at this given moment. So that's your status messages right here. This one is customizable. Just simply click and input any information you wish to um, input or utilize right here. You do have a search tab right here indicated by the um, search icon. If you wish to search anybody from your corporate contacts, meaning any of your coworkers, or indicated by this icon, this is your personal contacts. If you've chosen to import any of your Outlook contacts directly into the UCA Advanced, you can search for any contacts found in there. And both the corporate and the personal, if you wish, you can throw them right on up into your favorites for a quick dial, quick access at a later date. But let's do a real quick search here. Let's just search for Scott. And there Scott is. We can just simply click to call. We have a couple icons available. Um, currently, I have a webcam attached to my PC indicated by this icon here. My UCA client is currently open and operating. That's why I have the little green balloon. And my phone sitting beside me is currently idle at this point. I'm also found over here within my personal contacts. So that's just a quick search field at that point. Let's clear that. And I also have a couple icons over here. My phone is currently active. I've missed a couple of calls. My phone is idle. I am online with UCA and I do have a webcam available to me here. So this icon right here, compact mode, maybe I don't wish this application to take up quite so much real estate. I'll select compact mode, minimize it, and then I can stash this any place I wish to stash it. We'll come back to normal mode. There's to minimize it, maximize it, and this is truly not my close command. If I X out here, I think that I'm closing the, the client, but I'm really not. It's still running in the background, and I'll get screen pops, any calls I make or receive. We're going to come down to this menu right here, come clear down at the very bottom. There is my true exit command at this point. This totally closes the application. So that is a quick overview of the top third. We'll come down to contacts. We have a corporate directory, all of your fellow employees, personal contacts that you've impor imported from Outlook, and any favorites. So we will find a, let's pick on Sherry today. We're going to right click on Sherry, one of our fellow corporate contacts, and look at the items available when I right click a contact. I can give a quick call to Sherry's desk. I can call her with inf information, meaning I can place a call. And um, also, I can send her a quick uh, instant message on what that call is about. I can pop an email, send her a quick email, start a web collaboration with her. And if you're unfamiliar on what MyTel Audio Web Collaboration is all about, please see other TransWest videos entitled MyTel Audio Web Conferencing. It's a two-part training series. The first part is entitled Hosting, or excuse me, 
a scheduling a web collaboration and part two is entitled hosting a web collaboration so that's what web collaboration is all about if I choose I can add Sherry right up into my personal contacts here um, I can add her up under my favorites so I can find her quickly easily here and enable login notify each time she logs into her UCA client this knowledge management great little tool maybe Sherry and I are working on a specific uh, customer maybe we're getting ready to bring a new customer online and so we've created a document base on that new customer some some spreadsheets some emails and uh, any documents pertaining to that particular customer and I wish to have quick access to those documents each time Sherry and I place a call to one another I can simply click knowledge management let's move this a little bit and here's where I'm going to associate the document or documents specifically to Sherry um, filtering I can filter by the application no filtering works fine and to search for the documents to, to associate to Sherry I simply click new association search for the documents and they will then load in this area here each time I call Sherry or Sherry calls me this screen pop will pop on my screen with the file path directly to the documents so that's what knowledge management's all about um, right click again start a collaboration add to personal add to favorites knowledge management lastly contact information about Sherry and any detailed call history that Sherry and I've made may have had between the two of us so these are the options when you right click a contact so we'll close that and let's come up over to our icons over on the right hand side this is my contacts icon currently we are viewing our contacts in this screen here this is call history 20 records before it begins to override itself I can choose to look at my dialed calls choose to look at my received calls or choose to look at any missed calls I've I've may have missed so that's my call history tab this icon right here my communications tab this is just you your desktop extension if you click this icon your desktop extension will show in this area here this camera icon the video contacts it pops open any of the contacts that I have that may have a video hooked up to their laptop or their desktop indicated by this icon right here notice it looks very similar to my corporate contacts but it's a much shorter list because it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, only five people within our office that actually have the video capabilities. So that's this icon here. Here I have a visual voicemail. Any voicemails that have been left in my mailbox will appear in this area here. We can see that Jessica left me one yesterday afternoon at 408, entitling or encompassing 48 seconds. Here's my call controls for that voicemail. I can play it, delete it, forward it or request a callback from Jessica so that's found underneath visual voicemail lastly we have a launch pad tool down here here's where you're going to create custom buttons that you'll use I simply right click I can add a group which I've done before I've created a sales group and I have threw in three of our people within our sales department um, I can add a single button or I can select the orientation of my buttons either vertical or horizontal mode let's do a quick little add an item off we go I'll label the new button I'll pick the action I want that button to do dial a phone number browse to a website run a program or pop a folder and once I make my selection I simply select OK and then my new button would appear within my launch pad so that is quick overview here this is an RSS feed I'll show you in just a moment how to input your own RSS feeds so let's come up to the very top and from our drop down menu we're gonna left click one time we're gonna come to configuration move this over and we'll start at the very top and we're gonna come right down to these things the appearance of my UCA English is my default language I wish to display my contacts as first name and if they've uploaded a picture I want to see that picture calendar integration 
Here's where you can enable or disable Outlook Calendar integration. This application applies to this dynamic status message right here. As an example, let's, let's cancel this. Let's go back to our corporate contacts. And I notice in here that Russ was, was using that. Notice that he's in a meeting. So this is telling me his dynamic status, which is this right here, is showing that he's in a meeting. This also tells me that he has chosen to enable that Outlook calendar integration. So let's come back up here. Configuration, calendar integration. So if I enable this, anytime I have any type of an appointment within my Outlook calendar, it will change my dynamic status message to my other UCA users. When the calendar shows busy, any type of an appointment, change my dynamic status, which is this prompt here, to in a meeting. Follow, following the uh, clearing of the uh, scheduled appointment, change my status message back to whatever previous state I was in before, or you could pick and choose here. So that's calendar integration. Here's call integration. Before we come to this call integration or notification, I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to place a quick call. I'm going to actually call myself just so you can see what happens. Get a couple calls. And as you can see, I get two screen pops. This one and this one. The reason I'm getting two is because I'm calling myself. But if you make an outgoing call, you will see this screen pop. If you're running the UCA and somebody calls you, you will get this screen pop. So let me hang up real quick. So you saw the screen pops. Here's how to enable or disable those screen pops. Call notification. Use this window to customize how UCA notifies you of incoming calls and chat requests. Disable, 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 disable. I will no longer get any uh, window pops for any of these particular actions. So there's how to control your screen pops. Chat settings right here. Change my stats, chat status to away when I've been inactive for 10 minutes, which is default. I can customize. I wish to display my uh, pop-up for my chats, and I wish to record my chat history into my documents. So that's chat settings. Here's that knowledge management that we spoke about earlier um, to associate a specific document to a specific caller. PIM integration right here. Let's come to PIM. Now, if you've chosen to import your Outlook con contacts into your personal contacts here, with this application enabled, picking a date, any time that you make any type of changes within your Outlook contacts, those changes will take effect within your personal contacts within the date range, the date time that you've chosen. And if you wish to do an instantaneous um, index, you can do a quick index immediately by choosing this tab right here. So that's PIM integration. Let's cancel that. Let's come down to that RSS feed. That is this right down here that you've been viewing. And I know that everybody's been thinking, oh my gosh, look at all the stuff that goes on in Arizona. Well, I've specifically chosen Arizona Central just for these type of feeds. I kind of find them interesting every once in a while. You may choose to pick a different RSS feeds, such as uh, stocks or maybe sports scores or something along that line. So you can pick and choose your own RSS feed. Teleworker, brief conversation about teleworker. If licensed, the UCA Advanced can become a soft phone for you, meaning that um, if licensed and programmed, then anytime you're on the road, this truly does become your phone. With a headset, with a microphone, you can answer and receive calls directly from your PC via the teleworker application. Lastly, USB device programming. If you choose to run a uh, cordless uh, device such as a cordless mouse or something like that, that's when you're going to input your device programming. So we'll cancel that. That was configuration. My account will come into that area. 
here's where you're going to change your picture. You can see that Russ has uploaded a picture. I've got Herman Munster. Sherry's got M&Ms. This is where you'll change your picture, viewable by your other coworkers via their UCA. We'll browse. We'll find a quick picture. There's that Herman Munster. We'll throw this one in real quick. We'll open it and we'll upload it and how quickly easily you can change your picture for your other UCA users so we'll cancel that dynamic status now by default this is something rather important right here by default first time users if you choose to integrate your Outlook calendar to your dynamic status here by default, any time that you have an appointment in your Outlook calendar, the Mitel UCA uses this in a meeting status message. And by default, comes up default when it's first installed to route all of your calls directly to your mailbox. Meaning that every once in a while, I'll get a phone call from somebody and um, they're using UCA for the very first time. And they'll say, Scott, my gosh, what's going on? Nobody can call me. All of my calls are going directly to my mailbox. The reason why is because they've chosen to integrate their Outlook calendar to their UCA, to their particular status message. And anytime there's an appointment in their Outlook calendar, then the system thinks that by default you are in a meeting. And anytime you are using the in a meeting dynamic status message send all calls directly to a mailbox your own mailbox you can change that right here if you choose to anytime you decide to use the in the meeting status message you can send calls to your ring group or your desk phone your mobile phone or if available your home phone and so on so that's your dynamic status of course you can add a new one real quick and there we go input the new status message and save it so we'll cancel that uh, detailed call history collaboration did we talk about detailed call history I believe we talked about detailed call history um, this will take a moment to uh, load because it's searching for my records 50 calls before it begins to overwrite we'll close that Collaboration, importing the uh, Outlook uh, contacts here, select contacts, OK to import all of your Outlook contacts directly to your personal contacts here. Lastly, we have a uh, run a setup wizard. Well, this is what you'll end up going to when you first load your UCA to your desktop you will be asked to input some information your desktop phone will already be filled out by default you'll input your mobile phone number maybe your fax phone number your home phone number and so on and then lastly it'll ask you if you wish to enable the outlook calendar integration and lastly you'll be asked to finish so we're just about finished here um, about the UCA advanced that just gives you your software level and then lastly you have a help tab here followed by that true exit command so we went through that very briefly I know that we moved along very quickly but we had a lot to cover today so I wish to thank you for joining and enjoy using your Mitel UCA thank you